It is that time of the week again for reaction video. Let me put on my glasses so I look smart. Let's see what we have going on here from Jimmy Queen. My pre-workout hack is I just show you guys all my secrets. Show them. Right here. That looks dangerous. One scoop mm. down the chute. Wow. Mm. He got some on his mustache. It's weak, chases it with water. Who does that? Really chases it with water. That's how it's done, dude. No fluid in the gut while you go work out. Mm. Except what you just drank. Good energy. Let's go. Let's go indeed. He says, I hate the bloat of sweetness sitting in my stomach after drinking pre-workout. So this is what works for me. I, I question whether the sweetness of the powder itself rivals that of just mainlining it. Uh, and then he chases it with water, which might kind of defeat the purpose. But dry scooping pre-workout. Who hasn't thought of it? Maybe done it. I have. Do it a lot. Um, I've been all over the internet just shoving random supplement powders into my face. I've been doing it ever since I was a lazy bodybuilder who forgot my shaker cup. What you might be wondering is, do you miss out on some of the nutrients? Is it meant to be mixed with water beforehand? Is it dangerous for the liver or for your mustache or something like that? Well, dry scooping, as the name implies, involves consuming a supplement powder, most commonly a pre-workout. As you can see in this case, he had some kind of a man in the can he was going after there. Uh, and you do it without mixing it with water, often followed by a sip of water to wash it down if you're weak, I suppose. And a lot of people will say it's you know, just like hardcore, whatever. Here is what you need to know. I supplement formulas. Uh, I, I look at formulas. I advise companies on their supplement formulations. First thing is you need to understand that some ingredients are indeed water soluble. They're water soluble. Many pre-workouts contain ingredients that are water soluble, like caffeine, beta alanine, uh, citrulline malate, creatine. These ingredients rely on being dissolved in water for optimal absorption in the GI tract. If you're dry scooping and chasing it with water like he does, it arguably all winds up as you know, water soluble in your gut anyways by the time it empties from the stomach. Next, there's stomach acidity. Dry scooping exposes the ingredients in any formula, including a pre-workout, to a more acidic stomach environment for a longer duration because they don't get diluted immediately in the cup before you drink them that can impact the breakdown, slow the absorption process, and potentially cause you to be producing some pretty expensive pee, but not getting everything that you need from the pre-workout because dissolving the supplement, I'm saying pre-workout, but any supplement in water helps to maintain the ideal pH for ingredient absorption. That improves the bioavailability of certain compounds, particularly those that are sensitive to acidity. So that's the second thing you have to understand is the pH matters. Now, there can also be benefits of dissolving your supplement in water, I'm trying to avoid saying pre-workout, because I know there's a lot of powders out there that aren't just pre-workouts, like aminos or protein or something like that. Who dry scoops protein? That's nasty. Dissolving a supplement in water before you consume it promotes quicker and more efficient absorption because the ingredients are in a liquid state. They can get into your bloodstream faster. They can be more readily used by the body. And when you mix the powder in water, that gives you uniform distribution. All the ingredients are evenly distributed. That minimizes the risk of underdosing or overdosing on a specific component or leaving half of the components in your teeth or your mustache or your beard. Pre-workout supplements also, and this is important, contain ingredients that promote increased blood flow, sweating, and energy expenditure. Many of you may have experienced the idea of taking a pre-workout, going to the gym, the gym hasn't changed the temperature of the gym at all, but all of a sudden you're sweating much more than usual, your veins are popping more than usual, sometimes you're burning even more calories than usual, and consuming a pre-workout in particular with water helps to prevent dehydration, which could impair performance it can increase cardiovascular strain if you're dehydrated and even lead to heat-related illness if you don't live in a gym in Idaho like I do. So then there are a few mild things. Choking hazard, maybe even just in a dry form, you might wind up hacking it up a little bit. I don't know of anyone who has died or needed the Heimlich after dry scooping, but it is something to be aware of. Pre-workouts also contain acidic ingredients, like I mentioned earlier, things like citric acid, malic acid. That can be irritated if you consume it dry, and that can lead to stomach irritation, 
potentially increasing the risk of things like stomach cramps or acid reflux, burping stuff up while you're in the gym, burning sensations in your throat, your esophagus, heart and blood pressure risk because caffeine and many pre-workouts contain up to 400 milligrams of caffeine per serving. That can cause a spike in heart rate and blood pressure when you consume it all at once versus diluting it. If you read the label of a lot of pre-workouts, they say mix in water and consume over 20 to 30 minutes or I have one like nootropic pre-workout that says sip over two hours. Or I would never think of dry scooping that because that can exacerbate the stimulants effects, increasing the risk of side effects like heart palpitations, anxiety, or that caffeine high followed by a caffeine crash. You have pre-workout ingredients like beta alanine and caffeine that also, like I mentioned earlier, can promote fluid loss. They're diuretic. So you get increased sweat and increased urination. And if they're not accompanied by adequate water, you again, have the risk of impairing exercise performance and increasing the risk of overheating. While dry scooping can reduce the bioavailability of some ingredients, it may also increase your risk of digestive irritation, spikes in heart rate or blood pressure, uh, expensive pee, and uh, lower bioavailability of the nutrients. So ideally, you mix with water. I'm not going to say if you forgot your shaker cup at the gym or whatever, you're going to die if you dry scoop every once in a while. You'll probably get more Instagram views. But for the most part, mix it with water, folks. That's the way it was designed. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, subscribe on the YouTubes or wherever you're watching this video. Leave me a comment, question, your own feedback. I'm Ben Greenfield. Thanks for watching.